G'day, it's Pete here, and we're back again for another weekly free instant tournament. As usual, we'll jump straight in, look at uh, how to get in. So go up to Solitaire, down to weekly free instant tournament, and uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, flat 16 count, but my partner's opened a spade. So uh, here, what we want to do is Jacoby two no trumps. Uh, you could consider something like three no trumps, but we're a touch too strong for that. Uh, three no trumps here does show a spade fit, um, but uh, two no trumps is the way to go. And here, partner's just shown like a, a minimum balanced hand. So we're probably going to be passing, but what I like to do here is just consider my options at this stage. So what would be my ideal hand partner could actually have here? So let's say that they had five spades to the ace uh, and the ace queen of diamonds and the king of clubs. So five spades to the ace, ace queen of diamonds is 10, king of clubs is 13. And with that, we'd probably be thinking that uh, maybe we can make slam. I uh, would have a heart loser, would need spades to be breaking 2-2. Two, two. So that's like a, a marginal one, but that's like a 13 count, which is sort of right in their point range. Um, what other options could we have? Is this worth bidding on one more? Now. There's a type of hand where if we had a slightly different method, I would want to be able to show very mild interest towards slam and still be able to stop in four spades. And there's various ways that you can do that over Jacoby two no trumps, um, but not when your responses are four of a major just being minimum no shortage. I really like a three club bid to show a minimum no shortage, um, but for that, I'll just take the low road and pass. Hey, death control, welcome. And here partner's got a nice 12 count and slam is really good. I think it's really good. Uh, we've got three heart losers and a club loser. Um, I can throw something on the diamond. Uh, so king of diamonds throwing a club away and I can lose a heart and then maybe try and trump two. Or alternatively, uh, if trumps don't break nicely, uh, then maybe I can try and take the club finesse and uh, just lose one heart and trump one heart and throw the heart on the diamond. So there are my options. Um, we will start by winning this. And maybe I should have ducked the first heart, actually. That might have been slightly better. Uh, entries are a little bit iffy here. Thinking like if I draw two rounds of spades and they're actually three one, it's going to go in the club finesse way. So that, that's okay. So we'll go spade to the ace. Looks like they're going to be three one. Okay, so we will be taking the uh, club finesse here. We'll just untangle these diamonds and then draw the trump. And at this stage, we're going to plan to lose one heart, uh, finesse the club and uh, yeah, the club finesse works. So we'll throw this heart away instead. And now we're just losing one heart and we've got uh, the rest. Okay, 60% uh, for that. So as you can see, partner just had 12 points. Slam was uh, relatively close. I do think this is worth a slam try. Um, but again, I thought four no trumps was a little bit too committal. So I didn't really like that option. So this is just something about structuring your system a little bit differently. Um, it is important to note that, you know, slam's pretty reasonable here. Uh, the queen of diamonds is a very powerful card. Change that queen of diamonds to be the queen of hearts. It's um, much weaker. Okay, uh, moving on to board number two. And here we've got a 16 count, five, four. So one spade, two spades. Just gonna go ahead and bid uh, game here. Got 16 highs, singleton club, definitely uh, worth a game force. And I got two diamond losers, which I wanna trump. I have a club loser, which I'm gonna lose, but maybe lead a club towards the king. And uh, spades, I would want to double finesse spades, but because I'm planning on trumping two diamonds, uh, I actually want to just play like a spade to the ace and um, be able to, oh, I can still maybe play a spade to the jack. I could alternatively just like win this and lead a club towards the king. 
And what the benefit of doing that is, is if the King of Clubs sets up to be a trick, then I don't need to um, trump two diamonds. I only need to trump one. Um, and then I could double finesse spades. So that's probably slightly better. The opponents are trying to get a heart rough, but there's no great way of dealing with that. I could just win the King of Hearts and finesse a spade straight up. Um, which isn't terrible. Like, that's probably a pretty reasonable line of play. It's not clear how West would follow up. So. Okay. Slight issue there. We didn't really consider that. It looks like spades are four one, which makes this a bit worse. If I go ace of diamonds, rough of diamond, getting back to my hands a bit tricky now. So let's set up this uh, club play. And at this stage, I expect that they'll trump this, but. No. Okay, so West led low from uh, three hearts. So I could play diamond to the ace, rough a diamond, rough a club, lead a spade. Might get a bit awkward trying to draw the trumps here. Um, yeah, so I went down, I got, that was a very awkward one. Um, I think just going straight after the diamonds was the uh, better ploy. I didn't, that, that King of Spades play was like nasty. And I didn't know that I was running into Trump, uh, trouble drawing Trumps. But I was more worried about Hearts being like Singleton than, uh, that Spade King play was brutal. So after Spade King, I can make an over trick. I have to go Ace of Diamonds, Rough of Diamond. I don't lead a club. So Ace of Diamonds rough, oh, because the hearts still stand up. I can play Ace of Diamonds, rough a diamond, heart to my hand, rough a diamond, and then lead another spade. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely got that. That one had lots of options there. It was a pretty complicated one. Lots of people went down in four spades, but 11 tricks were there to be made. Uh, just take a closer look at it. Uh, so other people won and went straight into clubs, uh, which sets up their cross roughing option, which I think is fine. And they got the heart back and then they rough the diamond. Did all the roughing before the spade. And now, yeah, so this was pretty close to what I was actually considering initially. Um, I just really didn't weigh up East hopping in with the King of Spades. That made life so much more difficult and awkward to time. But uh, not a success there. But uh, I wasn't alone, and uh, we've got plenty of time to bounce back. So uh, here, two spades. The robots play as minor suit stamen. I do not have a minor. And now they're saying that they've got a shortage in spades. So... Um, it looks like we've got a heart fit. So let's play four hearts. Not the uh, most common way that you find uh, your uh, five, three heart fit. Start with a no trump, have partner say, tell me about your minors and then show the shortage. Um, so here, uh, four hearts looks like I have a spade loser. I can trump two diamonds and lead towards the king queen, or I could finesse clubs and maybe have a long club set up. Um, but it looks like I want to trump 
um, this spade for starters. And then draw, draw some trumps. Okay, hearts are 4 1. Uh, now, this is a bit awkward for uh, discards. You can discard one diamond here. This next discard's a bit awkward. Um, So how do I want the play to go after this? And I've got this vague idea of um, squeezing east in, can I squeeze east in diamonds and clubs? Not really, so I've got three clubs. Uh, so after this play, I will be leading a diamond up towards the king queen and Let's say East wins that and returns a diamond. My eight of diamonds is pretty good. So I think I can afford to throw a club here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I could Ross back over and lead another diamond. I'm not, I, I, playing a club to the ace means that I can't ever play east for the queen of clubs, which I was vaguely tempted to do. Um, I could consider just playing a low diamond now. Um, Like, East could have ducked with Ace-Jack there. Or West could have a double to an Ace. Low diamond back is bad if West has Ace-Jack tenor diamonds. Don't have anything in the bidding. Um, so, I'm always making this contract. It's all about extra tricks. If East has the ace jack of diamonds and they ducked, it's a bit awkward. I kind of... I, I really don't think West has three diamonds, four hearts. So, like, because East was the one with the uh, singleton... Uh, low diamond's also bad if it's jack, ten, doubleton. Maybe I just play a club to the ten. I wanted to finesse East for the uh, club anyway. But if the diamond ace is on side, it's okay. Ah, uh, this is tricky. Okay, ace of diamonds is on side. I have four diamonds. Yeah. I was right, they didn't have three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what was going on in spades. They had eight spades. That was uh that was something. Um yeah, you, you can get uh, an extra trick. Same people were just bidding three no trumps over the bot's minus daemon, not letting your bot tell them what to lead. Uh, like, that, that can work, um, but... <laughs> um, them showing a shortage, if I've got a shortage in hearts, I want to be in three no, but if I, like, if I always want to be in three no trumps, you can do that. Um, Just looking at okay, so what did people do? They roughed that, they drew trumps, and what discards did they go for? Well, they let a diamond up. Oh, in that auction, they when they let a diamond up, they hopped up with the ace, uh, which is a lot better for you because you don't need to work out how to actually get back to your hand. So for me, what happened when they put the ten and diamonds in? I actually had to play the club to the ten. Um, which was pretty tricky. 
Anyway, we're back to 50%. Moving on to board number four, and we've got a flat 14 count. Um, so I'll open a diamond and just bit of no trouble. Two hearts. Uh, so this is usually just weak from my partner. Um, I think they can do new minor forcing if they had like genuine invitational values. So I think partner wants to play two hearts and is like six to nine, but it did say six to 11. So we will see. They have a pretty good hand. How four spades, like that's a really good hand to get to four spades. Um, anyway, here we have uh, a diamond loser, a club loser, and one or two spade losers. Are they leading a singleton spade? Plausibly. Um, with the singleton, that would give West King 10 to 5, which causes me some grief. Um, I think I'm okay, like, ducking this, and even if they continue on and get a rough, it's not too bad. Um, so we'll see how we go. Ace of clubs. So there's seven of the points from... There's nine of the points from a hand that's a past hand. So the ace of diamonds is in the east hand. Okay, entries are a little bit awkward. Um... So at this stage, if hearts are three, two, I'm all good. If hearts are four, one. Like maybe I just want to trump the club. Maybe I just want to continue with like the queen of diamonds. Knock out the diamond. Not commit to what I actually have to do. Queen of hearts, life hearts the four one. I think roughing the club's pretty good. Um, hmm. this is like really intricate and tricky to bet. It's like try and safety play this as much as possible. These hands are. Super technical, not my like strong point. Like there are some people that are like really good at analyzing um, hands and getting like the nth percentage out of them. I'm, I tend to be more uh, trying to deduce what's going on about the opponent's hands and working out what I should do from that. But here it feels like a spot where it's uh, really really awkward to like i don't know if hearts are four one what the best line of play is i have a feeling it's just playing a diamond to the king now like let's say they win and return a spade i guess i just dump something i'll always make nine um what if i play the Queen of hearts, if they show heart to the king. I play heart to the king. I still know east has the ace of diamonds. So let's say I play a heart to the king and then a low diamond towards my hand. I could then heart to the king, low diamond towards my hand. Rough the... I don't really like that. But, ah, super tricky. Um, okay. Uh, do I play a spade? The ten of hearts was like a decent play there that sort of lured me into playing that. So here we're just making nine. I really don't know what the best way out of that was for trying to make ten tricks. Uh, 
Like I, I could have just with hearts being three two, I could have just played like Queen of Hearts, Heart to the King, and then I would have been completely fine. Um, I was trying to find a way, and okay, so diamonds were three three as well. So um, even at that end point, um, if I played on diamonds, I would have been okay. I think I found like the only way to not get ten tricks on the hand, uh, which was that West had two spades, um, and the third heart. So, yeah, uh, no one actually bid game. Oh no, people bid game, but went down. Yeah. So I was like, oh, no one bid game, but uh, you can get 100% if you bid game. Someone managed 11 tricks. That's rather impressive. Um, how'd they do that? Spade lead ducked. Continue to spade and you can make 11 now. And you get to throw all your clubs away. Didn't my opponent did my opponent take a club? <laughs> New bid game and made plus one. Nice work. Alright. Uh board number five. We've got sixteen. So triple four one. Uh you could have considered opening a no trump with a single tenace. Um, I guess partner would transfer to clubs on that, which turns out like it's definitely not what you'd want to hear partner do, but three clubs might be okay compared to one diamond. Um, here we are. We don't have many trumps, but we do have a fair few amount of points. So in spots like this, I like to try and count winners. Uh, we got a spade lead and the two of spades. So it looks like spades are four, three. Um, I want to try and build my heart tricks as quickly as possible. I, I should have played a low spade there rather than the 10. Because if they put in the queen, then I potentially have four spades. Not that I can ever draw trumps. Um, so I'm just going to play a heart towards the queen. Okay, nice. took the ace and returned the jack okay so from ace jack 10 they are never playing the ace and returning the jack so this is ace jack doubleton like i think nearly a hundred percent um so i could just finesse the heart and um or i could go like king of spades jack of spades spade and try and trump a spade and then try and draw trumps Or spade to the king, rough a spade, lead a diamond. Um, yeah. I wanna... Yeah, we're all rough now. And I think I just want to try and draw their trumps. I want to try and get their heart rough if they can. So here I have to put the ace of clubs on, but they don't know that I have to play the ace of clubs. Um, so putting the queen on sort of baits them to play, uh, to cover the queen. Like they couldn't see that I had a singleton ace there. Um, now I think diamonds were maybe five, two. It could be four, three. They've gotten one rough. I could play the jack of spades. They might rough in. Um, King of Hearts, I think, is fine because if West is the one who, who will be trumping, they're the one who, who I think's got five diamonds. So um, there's the nine. And now they get to play the claw. Yeah, no rough. And uh, they get their queen and then. I get the final diamond. Now, it is the beer card, but, you know, it doesn't really count because it's a, a Trump suit, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, 96%. Uh, so pretty stoked with that. Lots of people going down in one diamond. Some people did get the three clubs. 
uh, opening uh, one no trump. Uh, three clubs might not be too bad. But down two. They did get the spade lead, so they're in a spot where uh, they can make. And it looks like you have to try and... Oh, low spade to the queen. You can win the ace, ace of clubs, spade over. Oh, uh, you, you probably, like, need to play a spade to the ten over to the ace of clubs. Ditch your diamonds on the king jack of spades. Right. Uh, moving on to board number six, uh, flat 14 count. Uh, with 4-4 four, four in the minors, you can choose which one you want to do. I tend to only open a diamond with good good diamonds, um, which I don't have. So um, here, partner was saying, do you have uh, any support for me? And I don't. Um, I didn't even have four hearts, so um, just jumped to three no trumps, which showed a maximum, so 14 points. Uh, we've got three spade winners, two hearts, two clubs. Um, the opponents don't know. I've got jack nine fourth, jack ten nine fourth diamond. So probably got some chances there. Also, the spades could be three three. Um, so uh, if spades are three three, I've got five spades, two hearts, two clubs for nine. Um, I could try building a club trick, but the opponents can always get three diamond tricks. But I suspect that they might try and get three diamond tricks, um, in which case I would get one diamond. But it's probably right to go after spades. So here, heart to the jack. West has led low from the 10, and I've got four hearts, or at least three. And we're just going to try and... Ah, uh, the issue with spades here is my discards. Yeah. What do I want to discard? I'm not sure. I do want to make discards. Um. Yeah. I've revised my plan. We'll, we'll uh, give them a club trick and see if they go after diamonds. Okay, they went after diamonds. Good news. All right, and... This stage, we'll just throw a spade and see how the spades behave. Um, I don't know what I want to discard yet. So I'll just take two rounds of clubs, see what's happening there. My club's all good. So here we can throw the heart away and uh, my heart to the king and a club. Ooh, 100%. Beautiful. So they, they can beat us there. Lots of people in two no trumps or in three no trumps going down. Um, oh, they can't beat us. Really? Oh, Queen Jack, Doubleton, Heart. They causes a bit of grief. So you could go Ace, King, a Heart, dropping the Queen Jack, leading a Heart up towards the nine. Yeah, the uh, discards on the... Sp like, Spade seems so appealing, but the discards... Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a fan, so bailed out of that. Uh, here we've got seven diamonds, so pretty easy one diamond opening, and I'll just bid two diamonds. Jumping to three diamonds would show extra points here, um, but I could consider taking this out to three diamonds. A partner should usually have six hearts here. Um, and they're the weaker one. Usually, if you've both got long suits, playing in the weaker hand suit is usually better. Because uh, I might have entries to my diamonds, but they probably won't have entries to their hearts. So we'll give two hearts a go. Right, they've, they've got Dalton Jack of Diamonds, so uh, diamonds was going to be pretty good. Um, six of diamonds looks awfully like a singleton. Um, we've got two clubs, a diamond, and a spade as well um and i'll just false card with the jack of diamonds make it a little bit harder for them to give their partner 
Diamond Rough. Okay. okay, so not super thrilled about my uh, abundance of entries to that north hand. Um, I could play the king of diamonds, which they could probably rough. And I'll just play a spade and that won't be any good. So let's just try building clubs. Okay, so at this stage, uh, if I continue with another club, and they get a spade, club and a spade, if they can get their diamond rough, they, I'm down anyway. So there's the diamond rough. They get the spade. I should have played the queen of clubs, but it doesn't matter. Rough that one high and then just go back to drawing trumps. Oh wow, it was a five one split as well. So we have bonus one down. Yeah. Fifty percent. That was a pretty horrendous layout. And people are in three diamonds, three no trumps, and four hearts. So I can get out for down one. Okay, so here some people are jumping to three diamonds, as I said. Um, this just shows a much stronger hand. If opener rebids their suit, they're showing their strength, not their length. Other people, uh, over two hearts bid two no trumps. No, 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 nothing about this hand said that uh, we wanted to keep going. This was the other option that I was thinking of. Um, yeah. Uh, three diamonds does make, as I said, uh, entries to my partner's hand were limited. Unfortunately, they were just too limited that I couldn't get back and draw trumps quickly. Um, so uh, fifty percent for that. So everyone's all over the place there. But uh, moving on to the final board, somehow we are still currently at sixty-three percent with all of this mixed bag. Um, but uh, final board, pass, pass, pass to me, and I have fourteen points and six hearts. One thing to look at here is what a two heart opening is. In fourth seat, um, you don't preempt with typical hands. Uh, here the robots play nine to 12. I usually play slightly stronger, um, but like a minimum-ish sort of opening strength hand. I'm probably a touch too good for that, um, but I don't think it's far off. Part a bit Drury, my hand significantly improved. I'm gonna give hearts a go opposite of fit. Who knows how good the king of diamonds is. Singleton opposite Singleton. The answer is not that good. Uh, we got the two of spades lead. Now, uh, we have a wide array of options here. So spades could be 3-3 three, three, and I can just throw a diamond away. Um, we could maybe see if he says doubleton 10 or doubleton jack and we could take the king queen, seat play a spade to the nine and then a dump a diamond. Or we could just take all of the diamond, all the hearts, all the spades, rough out the spade and exit the king of diamonds. And if certain layouts, they won't be able to untangle their clubs and they'll have to give me a rough and discard. Okay, so here, spade to the jack, to me, it just looks like West as the 10. So I think I'm just gonna be uh, finessing that rather than um, any of the other lines. Okay, so we've uh, drawn trumps. And now I need to work out what to discard. Do I want to discard my singleton king of diamonds or a club? And it's going to be a club here. Um, the reason for that is the end play still might work as well. Uh, someone might have like a singleton club on her and not be able to deal with that. So we'll play a diamond towards the king. And uh, if someone had singleton... Club ace, then I would get a rough and discard. And we've got 10 tricks. 
and 89%. So finessing the spade there worked uh, really well. So we finished with 66, which this set was like all up and down, really, really intricate hands, which um, I kind of love, but uh, some of them weren't my strong points. So like board two, I think it's like a really challenging hand, board four, really challenging hand as well. How to get the most out of it. I don't think I played them well, um, but certainly tough hands. This one here, card reading, something that I much uh, prefer and uh, think I'm stronger at. So here, spade to the king. They didn't put in the 10. The 10's with West. Let's finesse it. So uh, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this weekly free instant tournament, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.